high first grade. Miss Murphy and I, I know you can't really see her because it's so light. We are, she just like never wants me to hold her and she just like is sitting in my lap being so nice right now. She's purring. So she is gonna listen to Junie B right now. Look, you can kind of see her. Oh my gosh. She's gonna listen to Judy B right now, sitting in my lap while I read. We're gonna start. Junie B. Jones is almost a flower girl, and we're gonna read the latest chapter. So it's been kind of a while since I've read with you guys. We're on chapter eight called A Little Tussle. And last time we read, Junie B. Jones um, just got her alternate flower girl dress. She was so, so excited, and she was sitting down, getting ready to go to sleep at night, and she was making a wish on a star. And she wished that Bo, the real flower girl, would get sick or, or hurt or something so that she couldn't be the flower girl in Aunt Flo's wedding. And her mother kept saying, go back right now and change your wish. And Junie B. Jones did not want to do it. So she's talking to Philip, Johnny, Bob, and we're going to see what happens now in chapter eight. Okay, here we go. Aunt Flo's wedding took forever to get here. I waited for my whole entire life practically. Then one day at breakfast, mother told me a happy surprise. Well, tomorrow is the big day, she said. And so what do you know? My very first wedding was almost here. That night, I could hardly even sleep. I got up bright and early in the morning. Then mother came in my room and she decorated my hair with a green velvet ribbon and she helped me get dressed in my flower girl clothes. Pretty soon, a lady came to babysit for Ollie. Then me and mother and daddy got in our car and we rode to the church together. And guess what? There was a million bajillion people there already. I hurried up the steps. Then I stood on my tippy toes and I looked all around for Bo. Where is she, mother? Where is Bo? Is she sick, do you think? Did her car get stuck in crazy glue? I don't see her anywhere. And so maybe I will be the flower girl after all. And there is Junie B. She's looking all over for Bo. But there's just a bunch of other fancy people there. Mother smoothed my hair very nice. Honey, I've already talked to Aunt Flo today, she said, and Bo is feeling fine. She's probably getting dressed with the other bridesmaids. Mother smiled. Let's be happy for her, okay? I didn't say anything back, because what's to be happy about? That's what I would like to know. After that, all of us went inside, and a man named Usher holded out his arms, and he walked Mother to her church seat. Oh my gosh, his name is not Usher. That's the name of people who walk you down the aisle at church. Me and Daddy followed them down the aisle. And guess what? I still didn't trip. Three ladies smiled at me. I smiled back. Hello, ladies. See how good I am walking down this aisle? Too bad I'm not the flower girl, right? My voice sounded loud at the church. I like that kind of loud voice. After I got to my seat, I smoothed my dress very nice. And guess who I saw? I saw my grandma, Helen Miller. She was sitting right in front of me. I tapped on her head. Grandma Miller, it's me. It's your grand girl, Judy B. Jones. Look how grown up I am being, Helen. Then grandma smiled and winked. And she said, don't call her Helen. After that, the organ started playing real loud and everybody stood up. Oh, it's hard to turn the pages when Murphy's like, oh my gosh, she's clawing me. And everybody stood up. Then all of us looked at the back of the church and what do you know? I saw Bo. She was walking right down the aisle and she was throwing pink flower petals on the floor. It looks like fun, I tell you. My heart got pumpy and poundy inside, cause Bo was coming in my direction. And so that's how come a great idea popped into my head. And it's called, hey, maybe Bo wouldn't mind if I took one or two petals out of her basket and threw them, cause that would be fair of her, I think. Bo kept getting closer and closer and closer. And then all of a sudden, she was right next to me. I 
Quick reached for her flower basket. No, shouted Bo. Yes, I shouted back. Then I tried to take some petals out of the basket, but Bo pulled it away from me. And so that's how come I had to pull it right back again. And then me and her got into a little tussle. Oh no. Weddings are supposed to be so fancy and special. And everybody looks at the flower girl when she comes down the aisle. So every single person in the wedding is looking at Junie B and Bo right now. Not good. Little tussle is the grown up word for how come she won't let go of the darn thing? Then all of a sudden, my mother reached over and she pulled my hands right off the basket. Her face was steamy mad. I did a gulp. Hello, how are you today? I said, kind of shaky. I am fine, only I just wanted two little petals, but that plan did not work out apparently, and so now I will just behave myself for the rest of the wedding, I think. After that, I smoothed my skirt, and I fluffed my hair, and I acted like my best grown-up lady. What in the world? Oh my gosh, Junie B. Jones is causing problems. Chapter nine is called Loose Feet. So after the wedding, Junie B. Jones is gonna go to the reception, um, which is basically when the bride and the groom come out and they sit down at a table and they have a dinner and then it turns into kind of like a big party. There's like dancing and stuff. And remember, Junie B. Jones is gonna sit at the um, bridesmaid's table. So we're gonna see what's gonna happen. If you have predictions, let me know. Oh my gosh, so good. Um, Murphy's already up, she's moving around. She's, she's moved on to bigger and better things. So we're gonna say good night. We love you guys.